All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlogs. Continuing with many scout reports for the 2016 NFL Draft. For this vlog, I'm going to continue things on with my top tight ends, and I need to talk about Western Kentucky's Tyler Higby, the tight end. Now, he's from Clearwater, Florida, and he originally signed for West Kentucky in 2011 as a wide receiver before converting into the tight end position. Now, he didn't really have his moment to shine until his senior season this past year with 563 yards receiving on 38 receptions and a nation tying eight interceptions leading all on. Um, all tight ends tying with another player. Now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Now he has to have outstanding size and his terrific frame for a man of his size at six foot six, two hundred and fifty pounds. The exact length that you're looking for, and he that has above average straight line speed, running a four seven forty. Now in terms of his hands, he does a pretty good job as far as catching the football, and he's seen we've seen that this past season especially. He's pretty much catches just about everything thrown in his direction. Has a pretty good Race radius, he can go high, he can go a little bit deeper as as far as um deeper routes. Does a decent job as far as his route running ability because he did convert from the wide receiver position when wide receivers are going to be used more in their route runners. But he definitely has the experience of doing that. He shows he's a pretty good route runner and he could possibly do the same at the next level. Now he's can be tough and physical at the point of attack when it comes to blocking, but he still needs some things that he needs to work on. As far as his weaknesses, he's a decent blocker. Blocker, but sometimes he has limit. He has um. He's not really stand. He doesn't really stand out too much in the run attack. But um, when Western Kentucky did do a pretty good job running the football with Leon Allen and company, but they were really more used for passing the football. So he doesn't really have much crisp as far as his blocking technique. And he only had he really had limited production throughout his career. Finally had that time to shine this past season. But he definitely has good jumping ability and he is capable of catching the football. Now he is a nice looking tight end prospect entering this year's draft. And my projection for him this year, I see him as a late fourth round or a fifth round pick of this year's draft. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys from being a couple of minutes, I have many more scout reports for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Kingdom Call. Be easy.